The Des Plaines Theater was really the center of entertainment for Des Plaines in the 1930s. People would come here just to cool off in the air conditioning. It was probably the first air conditioned building in the city, uh, but it was also the big entertainment in the city. If you weren't listening to the radio or reading a book, you were here at the theater and running into all your neighbors. We all went to the Des Plaines Theater, and on Saturdays it was 10 cents which was absolutely wonderful. So we didn't like to go any other time because then they raised the price and we liked that 10 cents. The theater was built in 1925 in the early days, they showed everything from movies on a daily basis, and then on the weekends, they would show vaudeville acts coming in from Chicago on the train. So you'd have everything from uh, cowboys going up on the stage, uh, the Siamese twin acts, uh, horses and elephants in a circus, all sorts of different attractions to bring people down to Des Plaines as the entertainment capital of the northwest suburbs. I like to go to the theater and a lot of our friends we'd meet up there where they'd bring their kids and we'd bring our kids and, and we we always loved going. The theater was built in 1925 and the architecture really shows it. Uh, the Spanish Revival style, specifically Spanish Baroque Revival style, was very popular at that time. Uh, the Uptown Theater would open just a few months after the Des Plaines Theater. And uh, both of them have a lot of really ornate terracotta work on the outside. Uh, Des Plaines has a lot of different colors and very jazz age look throughout. We always wanted to go and we enjoyed it. And then when we started having kids, we'd take them on a Saturday afternoon and they loved it. And then when they were old enough to go by themselves, they went every Saturday afternoon for years. The theater was renovated about 10 years later in 1935. And uh, that added in a lot of the Art Deco touches that are more distinguishable today, like the big marquee that hangs over Minor Street. Uh, so you have this interesting marriage of Art Deco and Spanish coming together and to, to make a really unique looking theater. This theater was divided into the twin screen movie theater and we decided a year ago to turn back into the original what was a performing art center and we demolished the partition uh, dividing wall and uh, removed the drop ceilings and bringing back to its original what was uh, for a live performance. Over the past year, the Displaying Theater has gone through a number of transitions, um, and we welcome all kinds of shows to come through. Uh, we plan on doing plays, musicals, comedies, and we also hope to partner with surrounding arts organizations. A paint the lobby, paint the interior, expose the ceiling, which people have never seen it for the last, uh, I would say, 50 years. Expose the stage, we finish the stage, that and, and um, uh, proscenium that people uh, in the general public have not seen for years. I was so happy to hear that the Des Plaines Theatre was going to start in again. I think the children are going to love it. They have never had anything like this. And I think, they, I think it means a lot to children to have something like this. Now that it's opening again, it can really be that center of attention for the city again, and it, it really should be. Um, 
it really should be a major part of downtown Des Plaines and a major attraction for people to come in. We are offering homes to arts organizations. We offer performance space, rehearsal space, office space, um, all within this building. So uh, we hope that we will get partnerships with a lot of different organizations to come through and we'll have a full stage in the next couple months. This experience here is very conveniently located at the uh, metro station right here and a bus stands uh, right there connected to O'Hare Airport, to the Woodfield Mall to the downtown and, and uh, western suburb. So it is very convenient, really located, and uh, very easy for people who doesn't want to drive this far. Arts organizations can contact us for booking uh, by emailing booking at displayingstheater.com. Also visit our website at displayingstheater.com. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter.